Okay, y'all. So, don't mind my braids. They're, they're getting a little old. I'm trying to keep them in as long as possible. But I'm going to give you guys a review on my ring because... I don't think I ever posted about it. I know I posted about it on my TikTok, but not my YouTube. So I got my ring from Brilliant Earth. They are a, they are, um, oh, I can't talk today. And it's giving, go back to school. Um, yeah, so they are an online website where you can pick out your engagement ring or necklace or things like that. Like they are a website um, catered to for couples or yourself if you want that. I don't know. Um, but I ended up finding this website from a mutual friend and I fell in love with the ring that she had like thought I would be in love with and I was and the more I think about it I'm like why didn't I get that one but I was in love with this one um so the thing is when you go to that website you get to create your own ring now you can't actually like create your own ring but that's gonna be much okay what I did was I went through millions I feel like millions of websites and I finally landed on this one because I saw a lot of people, um, they were in love with their engagement ring and I felt like they were a trusted website and they got back to me quickly. I did see a lot of people online saying how they did not get the same experience, but I feel like it's kind of like, you know, pick your poison um, with online websites. I, I, I don't know. I feel like you kind of get those situations with every website. No one is like 100% just amazing. But for me, they were 100% amazing because communication was amazing. They were back to back with me. And I, guys, listen, I'm going to show you like how insane I was with my ring process. Like my first ring came from, came from somewhere in the mall. Um, let me just say, y'all don't be in the comments trying to eat me up now. So, I didn't know that your engagement ring, girl, you had to wear that with your wedding ring. Like, I thought, like, you know, you take this mug off and you get your wedding ring. No, baby, your wedding ring is your engagement ring. Like you, you, you know, you, you just get a new band. You get a band. You don't get no. I said, oh, we gotta return this. We gotta return this. We gotta return that, baby. That it wasn't given. Like I thought, like you know, it's it's affordable. You know, it was it was real. You know, affordable. It was cute, affordable. I was like, but I gotta. You saying I gotta wear this? like just with like a little regular old band i said oh baby let, let's go ahead and change this real quick i called my grandmama i i said ain't nobody told me nothing <laughs> ain't nobody told me nothing so we returned that one and that's when i started talking with my um mutual friend that I met through my fiance um start talking to her and she gave me all her websites girl and I fell in love with brilliant earth um I will put some clips in um showing you guys their Instagram page and their website page but I ordered from them I got my ring in what like I want to say maybe three to four weeks, something like that, because they had to make, you know, make it, size it. And also they offer, if you do not know your ring size, I knew mine, cause I have tiny hands. They're like little baby hands. But if you um, do not know your ring size, you can get requests for the um, ring sizer and they'll give you your size and you just send it back. 
Um, also, another thing, I created my ring. Um, I asked him, did he like it? We were like going back and forth with, you know, what I liked, what he kind of liked together. Um, more of my likes, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm just putting it out there. Because a lot of people were like, I, I'm in a wedding group, y'all. And I saw a lot of people like, oh, it's about the love. If he just gave you any kind of ring, you should love it. No, stop playing with y'all self because do not pull up with something and it's ugly. I'm sending it back. I'm sending it back. I'm sending it back because if you love me, you would have known not to do it. Okay? Cause don't do that. Don't play like that. Don't don't even sit up and try to play like that, okay? <laughs> it's bad for business. So, anywho, I feel like, you know, you should love me enough to get me what I want. Enough said. So, back to business. Brilliant Earth, they also offer, if you are unsure about what setting you want, you can go ahead and pick out your diamond. I made my diamond. So, um, I do think that, like, I want to I can't remember... I think it's like Reed's Jewelers or like K's. They do offer to let you guys make your own ring as well. I found that out after I had did this, but you know, it is what it is. But um, I'm laughing, crying at myself, y'all, I'm sorry. But also if you are unsure about the setting, you can get a plain setting. This is your setting right here. This part is your setting. I knew what setting I wanted. I wanted a thin band to make the appearance of my diamond look bigger because I have a um, one carat. And I wanted to look bigger than one carat. So I um, opted for a thin band. Now, with the thin band, you do get some, <sighs> some situations. Now, now that I've gotten it, I've worn it, and I'm living with it, I do have some regrets because thin bands are easily to bend and break, which I knew that going in. I actually was walking my dog one day and she pulled on the leash and my ring booped on the metal um, staircase. And I was like, is my ring, it looks kind of, and I went, don't do that go to the jewelers okay but it was it wasn't anything like crazy but that's one of the issues with a thin band do i want to change the band i do now that i'm thinking about it and i also want to change it to a solitaire because when you have um diamonds okay when you have diamonds on the side when you go to get your ring cleaned i have cleaned mine at home for the past few months i think i've had my ring for about five or six months now but anywho um i've been cleaning it at home but when you send it off to the jewelers um you're supposed to get it inspected we do have insurance on my ring um make sure you get insurance on your ring okay all right we don't want anything to happen i know it's costly i know your engagement ring costs a lot already but girl listen it's worth it it's it's worth it Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the box. So when you get it, it's gonna look like this and I feel like that's so cute. I don't know how this even fit in there, y'all. So I just, it's, I don't know. So when you do, you know, you take it out or whatever, you know, girl. And your ring would have been in here. And I felt like this was such a cute box and it does have Brilliant Earth on it. So, I knew it was a pulley. I put it in wrong. So it's gonna come with like a little magic, e not magic eraser, but like um, the cleaning thing for your ring. I have two because I originally had a ring from Brilliant Earth, but it was a round diamond and it wasn't even a, it wasn't even a um, one carat. I sent it back and I ended up going with an oval because it's elongated and it looks a little bit bigger than a one carat oval 
well um round that i was trying to go for like the specs because the specs that i actually have i'm gonna actually name it off to you guys because honestly i don't even know i don't even remember anymore but don't mind that got wet but it's gonna come with this little folder it's going to come with your certification of your diamond it's gonna come with your it's gonna come with your sales invoice um and everything is gonna come with a description so if you guys don't know i'm gonna tell you so your diamond can cost from anywhere from like a thousand on down that's just for your diamond and then you have your setting okay so with that being said um i have a one carat oval super ideal cut you always want to go with a super ideal cut so the sun it reflects off and it just shines and glimmers and just looks amazing so i also got a d color and i got a vs2 clarity and then it comes with everything else and it does have like conflict free blah 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 now i did not get a um natural diamond i got a lab diamond um i preferred a lab diamond because it was more on the affordable side and it's also the same thing so the only people that can tell the difference is a jeweler and they have to if it is a lab grown diamond they have to have you know you can see it through um their little inspection thing and you have to have a special microscope little thing to see the inside where it does have like that is lab grown but a lab grown diamond is the exact same thing as a natural diamond it's just grown in the lab so why people make a huge difference about it i don't know my ring looks amazing love my diamond and it was more affordable because if i would have gotten a one carat super ideal cut d color vs2 clarity the cost of my natural diamond would not be that so um i'm not gonna share with you guys how much it is but you guys do the math okay <laughs> so you guys do the math so it's gonna come with your little um your spec sheet so I can't even get it out but it comes with um international gemological institute igi and it has when it was um made and then it has laboratory grown it gives you of course the specs and then I I picked out like you know how I wanted my ring to come out and like color grade I picked the highest color grade because I want I wanted my ring to sparkle in the sun. Like I wanted that thing to be glistening, honey. Glistening, okay? Um, and I also got the polish. It's gonna be excellent. Symmetry, I got excellent and I got no fluorescence. I wanted zero fluorescence. There's nothing wrong with fluorescence. I think it's very beautiful, but I didn't want that. I wanted ice, okay? Ice. So that's what I got. Um, I feel like fluorescence just makes it like pretty. I didn't have any issues with fluorescence, but I just wanted ice. So I got ice. So that's my review of my ring. And I'm gonna show you guys. Um, girl is giving, please get out of my face right now. But um, I'm going to show you guys a video of my ring up close and personal. It's absolutely gorgeous, especially like I just love everything at night. I love my makeup at nighttime. I love my ring. Like, girl, you finna see what I mean by go through all your diamond choices, put in what you want, excuse me, for your diamond and go from there like, um, I knew I wanted my oval to be more elongated. I didn't want an actual like fat little oval. I wanted her to be elongated because I wanted her to look bigger than what she would appear to be. And I also went through like what would a one carat look like on a five 
um, what is five ring, five, I don't know, five diameter ring finger. I don't know. I'm sorry. Brain farts around here. But, um, that is all I have for you guys. Not my lipstick, lip gloss, doing something. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Bye.